All right, it's day one. I just showered, finished some cardio, and we're doing a physique update to kind of show you guys where I stand. That's it. See this? I always wake up with this float. Oh, this is relaxed. Pulling it in. I still have, oh, I always have this. I mean, this is stupid. That's stupid. All right, so starting the day off, I actually have to go to work and I don't have time to make breakfast. Um, so, but I'm only gonna be there for like 30 minutes. So I had this apple cider vinegar drink that I found and it's literally lime juice, stevia, Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Like that's it. And it actually tastes really good. I can't handle apple cider vinegar. Like I cannot. So I know how good it is for your digestion. I'm gonna give this a shot. It actually tastes really good. We can taste a little bit of the vinegary, but the lime is good. I found another flavor too. Um, so that one has zero calories and this one has five calories. And this one's apple cider vinegar and it's apple and cinnamon. Um, so I, I only bought two of them. I'll give those a try and I might actually incorporate those more. Then I also bought some Kavita. And I'll probably drink this later in the day, like half of one or so. Um, I haven't really done these regularly, so I'm gonna give them a shot. All right, currently cooking up some breakfast there. And I'm also gonna include with that some baby kale. I'm gonna cook it on the stove and then I've never tried this before, but I've heard great things. Nutritional yeast. It's supposed to taste like cheesy, so I'm gonna flake all that on there. And I've got some sausages cooking in here. So, this is my first meal. I was supposed to add sauerkraut to this, because sauerkraut is like a fermented food, really good for gut health, but I literally can't get the jar open, and Ashton's not here, so. Look at this lighting right now. This is crazy, it's like I'm in heaven or something. All right, I'm gonna eat this, and then get going to the gym. My hair is a mess. So this is the chicken I made for the week. It's got mango chunks, chicken breast, coconut milk, apple cider vinegar, and all sorts of goodness in here. It's pretty good. And this is how I plan to start my morning. I'm gonna drink this before I have my breakfast. I've got all of my meals packed in here. I got a really long work day. I probably won't get home until seven or eight tonight. Ugh, started the day at 4 a.m. I actually went to Orange Theory and did a workout there. I like to do that once a week. It's like my metabolic type day, my like high intensity type workout. And that's how I started the day. So it's 6.50 right now. I'm pretty late. Um, I gotta get to work at seven. Okay, bye. What's up guys? It's day three of my gut health challenge. What is wrong with my face? Day three, so day three of my gut health challenge. How am I feeling? So yesterday was day two and I felt like I woke up and I was less bloated. Today I feel more like, uh, so with the foods that I'm eating right now, it's more fiber, almost double the amount of fiber that I was eating. So I feel a little bit crampy, if that makes sense. Kind of like you had too much fiber, kind of like when you eat too much like too many quest bars or something crazy like that. I don't know. So that's something that I think it's gonna take like a bit for my stomach to adjust, but I'm really hungry, which is awesome because I haven't experienced hunger in so long. It's like, I wanted to experience un hunger for like ever and I've been trying to just like, even like when I didn't eat, like I wasn't hungry. I was just like, I just always felt bloated. So I guess that that's the difference there is that I was, I was so bloated that I, I wasn't even hungry. It was weird. So that's, that's kind of my feel today on day three. I'm getting my lashes done in a little while, which is why I have no makeup on. And I look like crazy. And my face is breaking out. And I don't know. It's really humid outside. It's nasty. Whatever. But let me show you this meal here. This is my lunch, which is 11. It's at 11.17 right now in the, mor in the morning. So it's like way too early to be eating lunch. I'm like going to regret this, but I'm so hungry. So it's like I'm doing it. We've got some coconut chicken that I made. It's like, uh, I made in the slow cooker earlier this week. I've got some broccolini, sweet potato, and some nutritional yeast. 
FYI, these are really good. This is really the only way that I can drink apple cider vinegar. I don't know how much is in it. You can still taste it, but it tastes more like limey, and they're delicious. Made with stevia, zero calories. Check that out. Check that out, guys. Check it out. Found this at HEB. I'm sure they have it at tons of other places. They're kind of expensive, though. It was like $2.50, but I had a coupon for $1 off. What's up? Got my lashes filled. Can you tell? They're so much better, right? Oh my god. Uh, okay, so I just meal prepped like midweek. Essentially, I make my veggies like three days out, and sometimes I get lazy and I just steam them, and so there's not a lot going on. I'm so over veggies, so I decided that I was actually gonna make them delicious because I didn't want to eat them. So, Brussels sprouts, look at these. Oh my god, they came out delicious. So what I did was I seared them first. I used like the coconut oil non-stick spray, seared them first, and then I baked them in the oven at 400 for 20 minutes, and they are perfect. I also made some broccolini, which I make all the time from Trader Joe's. I don't know why they have the best broccolini. If I buy it anywhere else, it doesn't taste the same. And what else did I make? <laughs> that's basically it, but that took a minute. And then I also realized that I'm out of chicken, like I didn't make enough chicken. <sighs> when you start meal prepping, like again from scratch, it takes like two or three tries to get it perfect. Once I get it perfect, then it takes me like nothing and it's super easy. I'm going to probably at the end of this video have like a little sit down and kind of go over some of the main things. I'm so obviously I'm not going to give you like the plan because you have to pay for it. So if you want to sign up for the challenge, you can always do it on your own. Um, that would just be like really wrong of me to share it with you guys, obviously. So, but I will share some of the, like the basic, a lot of things that I was actually practicing already. Um, and then kind of like what comes with the challenge if you did decide to do something like that. And I, it's totally not sponsored. This is just like me putting it out there because I think a lot more people have gut issues than we think. A lot of people suffer from it, especially in fitness, because here's what happens, you end up eating the same foods over and over again, you create intolerances, blah, 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 blah. We get addicted to things like artificial sweeteners. And if you really think about it, my memory card ran out on me, so I had to delete some stuff and then start all over again. So if you really think about it, like go through your morning through like the end of the day and everything that you put in your mouth, what has artificial sweeteners or has stevia with erythritol because stevia is always, it's never just a pure form, it's always mixed with erythritol. erythritol. So think about it, like from your coffee, do you put flavor in your coffee? Do you put creamer in your coffee? All that stuff has artificial sweetener. Your supplements, BCAs, you know, then you probably have coffee again, and then, or you have like a monster energy drink, like all of these things have artificial sweeteners in it. In fact, fitness people might be more unhealthy than the average individual. Like, I'm not saying like an obese individual, but like an average individual who consumes like regular coffee with sugar and doesn't worry about, oh, like the zero calorie stuff, like, they're not ingesting all that fake shit, you know what I mean? And that messes with your hormones, that messes with your gut health, with your, the bacteria, um, oh, my hair looks so weird. The bacteria in your gut, it messes with that, and if that is off, it will, like, affect so many different things, like, from, like, skin things. You guys remember I had that skin issue a while back, which hasn't really gone away. It's more under control, but it still, it still comes back here and there. So, yeah, just some fancy things something to think about for you guys. I'll keep sharing my journey along through this. I think maybe I'll do like a little update, a physique update on day seven, and then maybe like middle of the week, so in a, in a day or so, see if I feel any better, but I'll keep checking in. I'm gonna go shower and clean up this mess. What's up guys, it's day six of my gut health core restore challenge, and how's it going? Uh, it's going good as far as, you know, like the bloating and things like that, that's better. It's not completely gone, but it's definitely better. Um, one of the things I will say is that the past two days I've experienced incredibly terrible heartburn. I knew that that was kind of going to be a side effect when I saw the types of foods that were in there, but I thought I would give it a shot anyway. So I'm gonna change up the way, some of the foods I'm eating, because it's just like affecting me way too much, like as far as heartburn goes. <laughs> Keep looking over there. I'm actually, this is a weird background, but I'm working and I'm working inside the mall 
at one of these rental car locations that me and Ashton run, and it's like in a temporary spot in like a really weird spot. So yeah, it's just, let me show you what it looks like. This thing is where I'm at right now. How depressing is this place? Anyway, so a little bit out of my element there. I think I'm just gonna eliminate any of the vinegars. I'm also going to stop with the ACV, which I was doing regularly. I actually was kind of enjoying it, but I always, every single time I do it, incorporate it into my diet, I always get heartburn. Um, so I'm gonna try that, give that a shot. And I was also adding sauerkraut, which is like a fermented food. Fermented food foods are really great for gut health, fixing your gut microbiome. But for some reason, fermented foods always give me heartburn. Um, so I'm gonna drop the sauerkraut and see if that's any better. I feel overall less inflamed, I guess you could say. Uh, I haven't weighed myself or anything like that. I don't really like to, when I'm feeling good about myself, I try to steer clear of the scale because I feel like sometimes the scale doesn't always reflect the way that you feel and then that like totally psychs you out mentally. Anyway, it's gonna be a long work day for me. I gotta work out later today. I'm working glutes and legs again, which is super fun. I'm excited. Um, I really miss that sort of training and I'm kind of back on my schedule. Today is like week one of like a five day split. It's going good, guys. This is the food sensitive sensitivity test that I got from Everly Well. Totally not sponsored video. It just popped up on my feed. I've heard of them before anyway. It, this thing tests for 96 foods for Immunoglobulin antibody reactive, yeah. <laughs> I science the shit out of that, right? <laughs> so the first thing you're supposed to do is register your kit online, then you collect your specimen, which I believe this is a finger prick. That's what it looks like when you open it. Welcome to Everly Well. First things first, register your kit. Let me do that and I'll come right back. All right, so I registered my account, and basically, after you register your account, then it gives you like a little video on how to do it. I have to prick my finger, and then squeeze five drops into this test strip, which is awesome. So it comes with a little finger pricker here, alcohol prep pad, a Band-Aid, thank you, and some gauze pads, which I don't think I'll need. So basically, this is the little guy here, and then I'll put my samples so bright. So you're supposed to put a drop in each of these but not touch it. So I'm gonna do that, it's gonna be fun. Okay, this is the part that I don't like. <sighs> I'm bleeding! Squeeze. This is really hard to do. Squeeze more blood! Getting all this blood out is really hard without touching it. Whew, that's done. Now you let the card dry for 30 minutes. God, you guys, now it won't stop bleeding. That's what the gauze is for. Ah! Ah! God! It wouldn't come out at first, and now it's like blood everywhere. Okay, well, you need the gauze pad. Uh, let's put a Band-Aid on it. Whoa, stop bleeding now, dude. It wouldn't come out, now it's like fucking raging out. Put it on there tight. Okay. Alrighty, good times. What's up, fam? So I'm here to kind of finish off the vlog. Um, and talk about the Core Restore Challenge and kind of like what comes with it um, in case you're interested in like what I've changed. I also just did my physique update for this next week, so that'll be in the next video. Essentially week one was good, definitely a lot less bloated. I basically just like, I eat really healthy anyway, so this wasn't like a huge change for me. It was just adding in little things and then taking out little things that I knew that I had to take out anyway. So the challenge kind of helped me like, motiva motivated me to do that. Um, so like one of the biggest things like artificial sweeteners, you know, pre-workouts, BCAs, all that, all that, just cutting all that out. I haven't had a monster in a week now, so that's a big thing. And then really focusing on foods that optimize gut health. A lot of the seasonings and stuff that she puts in the plans are all like meant to do that. Um, things like garlic and onion and things like that usually affect um, your gut like in a negative way so that's a lot of that stuff isn't even in there so what she does is like she gives you like a grocery list a meal plan for that week and then for that for that week one supplements and things like that too and then you get a new set for week two which I'm starting today uh, so that should be interesting I would say the one thing I didn't do 100% was coffee because I just couldn't. I tried day one to like push it out and like not have coffee for a really long time and um, 
I just couldn't, like I got sick, like I felt like my head was like raging and blah. So I limited my caffeine intake a lot. Like, I'm really embarrassed to say this, but I was drinking like 800 milligrams of caffeine a day. But you have to think too that I also start at four in the morning and then like I, like four or 5 p.m. is like my last dose of caffeine. Um, it's kind of all day long basically, that's not healthy. <laughs> So yeah, I basically stuck to like 150 milligrams of caffeine all week, which is pretty good for me. That's gonna conclude the video. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave them down below. Make sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you guys are enjoying this kind of like more informative type thing. Uh, my journey to, to like, I don't know, fixing my gut and stuff like that. I've been working on this for months, I think, really. Uh, so week two should be good. Uh, stay tuned for the next video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.